Yo, I'm in a manhole, in a place where manholes get made. Yo, we're at Hut Concrete Products. This is a family owned and family run business. Let's go inside, meet the team, see what's going on. They've got some really exciting projects to show us. Let's go. So how did you get into this? How did you start? My background's industrial design. While I was doing the degree, I designed some concrete furniture and then dad knew Paddy who was the old owner, yep. and then he hooked me up with Paddy, so Paddy helped me build it in real life. And then me and Paddy got along really well. Dad was talking to Paddy, and Paddy wanted to retire. And Dad said, well, why don't we buy it and have Hayden run it? Mm. And he said, oh, yeah, that's a good idea. So I finished uni in December, owned a business in February. <laughs> I was all go. What are these? Steps. Those are rural step blocks. Like a, oh, for fences. A sty, for fences, yeah. True. Yeah. That's real cool. So we um, expose egg the top. Yeah. Because uh, when it rains, the concrete just gets slippery. Yeah. So they add grip. So we'll swap heaps of these. But these are good because no one can uh, steal them or damage them. Yeah. Because the timber ones don't last very long. The council, they wanted something strong, so concrete. So they came to you and said, hey, this is what we want. Yeah. And yeah. you came up with a solution. Yeah. Man, do you enjoy like that kind of like, problem solving aspect? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. Hey man. Hey. How you doing? The Dallas Partners. So it? you're also a Harvey? Yes. Oh, yeah. yes. <laughs> and where are you in the picking order? So uh, I'm a business partner with Hayden. These are your, your manholes. Yeah. 50 diameter manholes. These are like your, your bread and butter of drainage products. So these would be used in a, in a residential subdivision, eh? Or not this big? Probably not that big, probably the smaller ones. Oh yeah, those, so we use those for soap pads. I'm pretty those sure are, I saw... Those are your soap pads. Uh... Oh yeah, true. Yeah. 10K is on the pipeline. If you want to help us get there, go ahead, click subscribe. Let's go. So your trail face is on bottom, sorry, and your form face is on the top. So we'll flip that over and it'll be mint because you won't even see the trail. Yeah, how do you like, so how do you get the form face mint? Do you vibrate it or bang it or? Yep, so uh, Dylan? Oh, stick a vibrator in the mold for a certain amount of time. It's all to do with your, your mold oil, which makes it a nice smooth finish. The amount of vibration and the concrete. Yeah. It's sort of, but like. It's a bit of an art. Bit of an art, yeah. That's, that's the mold there for that product over there. True. Yeah. So and that's the Rio cage as well that goes into that product there. You look at it thinking, oh, it's a straightforward product. Every angle on there is tapered so that it can come so it out of the mold. Yeah. yeah. So then you you use these points to pull it out. Yeah, these are called slip lifts. And do you use the fork lift for that? Or? Yep. So this is the Rio just like we would do on site. Uh, and do you have to have like minimum 50 mil cover? Same same deal? Same deal. Cool. And then so we pour these every day. So you can make one mold, one product, one day. So do you have a concrete truck back in? Yep. And do you have one yeah. yeah. Do you find that the mix changes from day to day or or month to month yes. or summer versus winter? Well we do higher during the week, but at the end of the week I do lower so that it's got the weekend to go off and don't really need to have the higher. MPA for concrete. You've got to have that you high have early oh. strength concrete 24 hours later. We don't strip the mold, then the mold's wasted for a day. Oh, we true, so you've got to have that turnaround. Yeah. Turnaround. Oh, I get so it. We want to get the molds empty 24 hours later so we can pour them again. So that all comes down here, gets cut there in the shear cutter, gets bent there in the, in the bender. These are the cages from that jig.
well Friday afternoons I try to do it or Monday I plan the whole week yeah and that helps the Rio guy he comes and checks the Rios and he knows what he needs to make for the whole week and obviously the team can come in here and prepare for certain molds they need to get ready the day before yeah for example this mold here C8 we start that on Friday so they'll get ready on Thursday to start pouring up on Friday some products are only made to, to order but some a lot of drainage products we stop So this is the original building that they started with. Uh, so you did a lot of work on the Hayward Hill Way? Yes. So the road barrier, but you did the bridge as well? We did the abutments under the bridge. Yeah. So there's four abutments. There's about a thousand square metres of RE, three or four sleep panels. Did you ever think when you did industrial design that you'd be like walking around a factory that you're a part owner of? <laughs> I thought I'd be designing like bags or shoes or something. Yeah. And then designing concrete products. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. But now he's so busy that they've hired another industrial designer. Yeah. yeah. He's got his master's degree. Yeah. yeah. So he's going to take it to the next level now. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So it's, there's enough work for them to do that. Oh, yeah. So it comes with a giant O ring. Giant ring, right here. So that'll sit here. All right. And yeah. Then, um, when the pipe goes in, it gets rolled to here, and then it seals. True. Yeah. 